them in New Orleans, nothing else like it. Back across the pond to the frog toads, a little lily pad to make some mead. We're putting our must together for another batch of mead, and this was a uh, gallon and a half of honey, roughly. I say roughly because some of them were overflowed. This is water and honey, and we're adding yeast and heating it up to boiling. Is that correct? Just under. Just under boiling. Off the top of my head, I think it's a hundred and two hundred and I gotta look. Enough where you don't kill the yeast, but everything gets dealt with. And this is some good honey. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's where your answers are right there in that book. And it's already open to the page of the must making. Hey, uh, uh, you do realize that I'm a dude and I don't read instructions. <laughs> no, I'm trying to have you read them out loud. This is uh, our last batch we're going to bottle tonight as well and get, and get another batch started after bottling this one. Empties. What Almost. Is, what is that you found on your property? Which one was that? I don't know. I, I, so I, I took pictures of them and sent them to to uh, Gravy and some other people. Uh, that almost has a parsimon. Very sweet smell. Yeah, I mean, that's a, it's a citrusy thing for certain. These things, I don't know what that is. I thought they were figs when I first picked them up. That's what's in there. <laughs> Go ahead and uncork it. Well, we're just going to take the bubbler off. And then you're going to drink... The rum. You're, you're gonna drink the rum. Uh, you're gonna drink the rum. Yeah, cheers. I'll, I'll nope, 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 nope. Setting the depth on the siphon so it doesn't pull trash from the bottom. Uh, or at least less, yeah. yeah. We're gonna filter it anyway. That's not a very good clamp. May have to go get a different clamp. Uh, maybe not. That'll work. <laughs> Done it. There you go. That's your siphon. Alright, here we go. It's running. Yep, sure is. It smells good. Yeah, I can't smell it yet. Not like that other batch we opened up. As soon as I took the lid, look at when this was it's right under fermenting. My, it's right under my nose, so I'm catching a good whiff of it. Now, when that batch was fermenting, the funk about to knock me to my freaking knees when I opened it up. Oh my god. Color ain't bad. No, it looks good there. I'll tell you what, we're good to I'll just let me just pick up your That's how narrow. little rig here. There you go. This is what you call high tech filter holding right there. That's, uh, <laughs> That's nice, ain't it? Yeah. That's pretty. That's how we do it here in the hills. <laughs> yeah. Then we got these special valves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is how we do it in the in the Appalachian parts of southern Louisiana. <laughs> in the Appalachian swamp. <laughs> Draining out of the carboy through the siphon. And that's what he's doing is he's we're basically using an automotive filter that has an on and off switch at the bottom for all better yeah. all, no better way to say it. Gives it that nice oily flavor. Yeah. Well, I did use this to change the oil on the, on the, the Astro before, you know. It's got Astrozilla oil in it. You know? yeah. <laughs> it's pretty much filling the bottles. And after a bit, we'll uh, we'll come back and show you how you use the little bot, the little corking machine. You're right. This has you need a fisheye. Yeah. For this. Hey, which side's up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you're rolling. Put your foot on the on the other part when you pull it up. That's a good shoulder work, yeah. Uh-huh. There you go. Mead. You have made mead. <laughs> you have mead made. All those years of nothing but dastardly bee enslavement on your plantation. And here is the <laughs> ill-gotten gains of the 
work performed by thousands of little ladies toiling at your pleasure. <laughs> Get busy! <laughs> And this is a corking machine, in case y'all haven't figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> for my slow friends. <laughs> for, the other, for those of you at South Point. <laughs> there it is. Two cases, just shy. One, one bottle shy, well, actually half, literally half a bottle shy of 24. And these are fifths, right? Yeah. Yeah, and we were getting down in the mud on this one, so it's a little cloudy. <laughs> Yeah, it does look a little icky, but not bad. Yeah, the rest of them look good, though. Yeah, like, I like the color. Notice how you do have some variation. Yeah, there is. There's a... Just a... Well, not so much between those two. But I noticed about a two or three shade difference. Here you go. Here's one from the top of the carboy, and there's one from the bottom. Yep. Yeah, whoops, let me actually get it in the camera. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think it's a good color. Right. Oh. Ah, we have made mead. I smell gas. That, <laughs> happened, that happened the other day. Ben walks in, he's like, it stinks like gas in here. Yeah, I bet you should. <laughs> the old fashioned way. We needed a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, thank you. <laughs> you need a haircut worse than I do. No. <laughs> There's our pot of must, or as uh, us southerners would know it, mash. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that, that was, would I think that would make you go to the bathroom a lot. That was lot. for gravy. <laughs> that was for gravy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. We don't want to tease gravy with any meat or anything <laughs> like that. That would be that would be mean to. Uh, to tease gravy with any, oh, yeah. you know, mead or anything Woo! like that. <laughs> hey, tell her how good it is. Oh, I, like I said, I can, I can sort of not feel my lips. <laughs> that was, uh, that's, a, that's a good batch right there, Paw Paw. <laughs> Woo! Let's see what we're at temperature-wise here. 170 then go ahead and start swirling these around. Alright, just climbing above 100. Yeah, it'll take a bit. Let's do some let's stir it a little bit too because that honey is going to want to puddle at the bottom and it'll scorch it. We don't want, that. We don't want to scorch the mash. <laughs> <laughs> or the, what'd you call it? The must. The must. It's the must. It's the, must. the mustest with the mustest. The, the mustest. The mustest with the mustest. The stuff you must have. <laughs> must, must have mead. You're on. All right, we cooked up our mash, and we forgot to film this process, but we uh, brought our temperature down to 108, 107, added our yeast, and now I'm aerating it. <laughs> it spit in my eye. Doesn't that thing have a slower setting? Yeah, but it's too slow. There's either crawl or blast. <laughs> Here's a slow setting. Well, that's, that's really good right there. That's fine. I ain't doing that much swirling around. Well, remember, all you try, you're trying to add air to it. Right. So it doesn't, it doesn't have to be. That's adding air to it. Man. Yeah, air, baby. That's where it, uh, there's our five gallon mark. Here we are with our mix. So now we're going to snap the lid on. Tight seal on that, and we're taking 
<laughs> Micro- <laughs> Rum with well, Z. it's what you call a C A R. Where'd you get this at? AutoZone? <laughs> yeah. It's a cheap ass rum, basically. Oh, you got it. It's floating. There it goes. I might have put a little too much, but I guess it'll be all right. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll take this cover off for a little while. Uh, just so y'all know what's going on. Oh, there it goes. See, it's look at it bubbling. Starting to bubble. That was just me pushing down. Oh. <laughs> <You're> freaking, <laughs> breaking your heart. Sorry. You freaking drink me, man. <laughs> what's going to happen is the yeast is going to eat the must, and it gives off, it turns the, the sugar into alcohol and gives off carbon dioxide. <laughs> So, bubble, bubble, toilet. It's going yeah, already. It's going on. There you go. <laughs> and that's what it's going to do. And this is just a water trap, so the stuff, the carbon dioxide can exit, and nothing can get back inside. So, in 30 days, give or take, depending on how hungry the yeast is, we'll rack it. We'll rack this batch. 